Let me start it off, baby. I am telling you right now. Right now. I feel better about this list than any list I've ever well, put together. Did you wow. follow the week 13 games or did you go back to week 12? Oh, <laughs> I'm set straight, baby. Did you copy ESPN? Didn't even look. Wow. I don't look, dude. I don't want to lose brain cells. Let's be That's real. Fair. Let's be real. All right. So I'm telling you right now. I feel like there's not much room for you guys to like fight with me. Uh, I'm sure there is. Like really, I this and okay, so I want to say it. Okay. Either this is the best list I've ever put together, or last week was actually the best list that I ever put together. But you because the up. amount of adjustments made, like big adjustments, were very minimal, very minimal. Yeah. Which. Pat my pat me on the back real quick. <gasps> why look at this? Why why pat, should please I, pat me on the back? Why should I do that? Just, all right, I'll do it. Pat myself on the back. Oh, I feel so good. Okay, I okay. Pat you on the back after, but not okay. before. No, I'm talking about last week, dude. It just played in. It's uh, we're gonna get into this, guys. Drop a like if you like the power rankings, by the way. And then if you think I'm wrong with something, feel free to go down to the comments. We look at the comments. We want to see what your guys' opinion is. Will it sway oh, yeah. me? Probably not, because I'm an independent white male living in the United States of America. But it might. All right, Texans at 32. I hate it. Makes sense. Why do you hate it? I'm just kidding. No, no. That makes sense. <laughs> They're eliminated from the playoffs. They got walloped. Yeah, Wallop. they, got, they got dogged on. Jeez, the Lions get one win, and all of a sudden they... Listen, <laughs> these 29 to 32, can we not agree that they're interchangeable? They here? all yeah. blow. If a team gets a win, yeah. I feel like it's fair game to bump them up against the other ones because the Texans got dogged on. Zero to 31, Joe. Zero. I know Joe. the Colts are great. Zero to 31. I, I'm not fighting the Texans. That's fine. You don't want to fight for them. Ooh, what Who the would want to do that? Plus, first team eliminated from the playoffs. Yeah. Hey, Good that's fine, them. but why do you got the Lions, dude? dude they're still in contention. Okay. Well, Jaguars also final score thirty seven seven versus it was versus the Rams. Rams. Granted, uh, they who won, also had they, a lot they of won losses. Two games, Lions have one and a half. Okay, but are, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny because that half was against the Steelers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, so a lot of people predicted the Lions to beat the Vikings. Who the Lions? Who? A lot of people did. A lot of people, a lot of people predicted. Oh, yeah. that? A lot of people predicted that. Dang, not me. Yeah, of course not. Not any of us. Not any of us. So. Yeah, so the Lions, who've had some close games, much whatever. Won the Super Bowl they got it done right. for themselves. They, I mean, yeah, they, they, they win. They acted like they won the Super Bowl. So they yeah. win. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Game winning drive. They cheered. Jared Goff. It's, it's one of those things where you cheer, then you're like, uh, we're probably also losing our jobs. Right. They actually yeah. almost wanted to give that game away. But then they decide, yeah, you know what? Now it's time to get the win, and they got it. So Jets stay in the same spot. We got a lot staying in the same spot here. Jets, yeah. Bears, Falcons, same spot. Cool. Um, not much to be said here. Falcons lose. Okay, so I want to mention the Falcons here. Yes. Okay. They didn't play a terrible game. They no. played versus the Buccaneers. Yeah. Tough Very team. good team. Yeah. Very good team. They fought with them last time. It, was, it, it literally, I feel like the same thing happened. It did. Literally exactly the same thing. thing. Yeah, so I think what I'm predicting here is the Falcons are soon going to be bumping the Giants and the Panthers and moving into that 25 that could spot. Be the next week because they play the Carolina Panthers this week. So Right, so that would Whoa. that there would do it. And I actually wanted to bump the Falcons up but I but they lost by uh 14 whatever it was. So I I, I was like I can't really bump them up That's too a, if I they lost. Like yeah. The Bears are awful. The yep. Bears are awful. Jeez. They're awful. They're they actually stink. Justin Fields is coming back this week. He okay. always bumped teams up with butt. <laughs> no, absolutely not. They're better off without Justin Fields. Okay. He said it. The Panthers didn't play. <laughs> they swapped the Giants because the Giants lost. Makes sense. The Giants I'm lost. Cool yeah. They're kind of interchangeable. So the Panthers move up ahead of them. Yeah. Hey, they're, if that's the highest they go, I'm cool. <laughs> it's the highest they go. Honestly, bro. Hey, yeah, it's about it's, time. It's They've lost so much. They've lost so much. They've done it. Are they still your favorite bad team? The Giants? Yeah. I mean, do you... Uh, favorite bad team? Picking out of the 25 like, to 32 column. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, they are. They are, but not as much as they Whoa. were before. The Seahawks won, did they not? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, right. here we go. So, Seahawks did win. That's impressive. It's impressive, but I'm not super surprised about that. The 49ers really? at times have been a little bit inconsistent, even though they've been really good lately. Ah. I want to give 
What do you mean? The 49ers have been really good before the Seahawks game. Yeah. They are on a nice win streak. I didn't say so it. Oh, you were like, ah, whenever I said that. Why is on? Okay, never do that again. That was inappropriate <laughs> and rude. <laughs> the only thing I could see is maybe putting them over the Saints, but I don't even, I, I Heck agree. No, They're not dude. The Seahawks the suck. But yeah, we got to remember, what do they the have? Suck, what do the Seahawks have? Yeah, but the Seahawks, Seahawks beyond. So, huh? Four wins, five wins. Four. Four wins. That's disgusting. That's why I can't bump them above the Saints. Yeah, that's fair. The Saints always keep games kind of close. Seahawks were just getting blown out right. of the water. So the Saints are in a little bit of a quarterback mess. And they bumped down two spots to 23, which is this is the lowest that I've had the Saints. It's about yeah. time. It's about time. Yeah. But well, it's kind of crazy. It's about time. Yeah. Speaking of the Seahawks and the Saints. Russell Wilson just came out and said that he potentially would like to go to the Saints. Oh, I heard. Why didn't he say the Steelers' name? What the heck's so up with that? Why didn't <laughs> no, he? I didn't say you the see Steelers that? Name. He's getting old, though. Yeah, he said the Giants. He said the Saints. Why not, not this? Why not Pittsburgh? Who freaking has a sick team around him? Come on, Russ. Maybe he doesn't want to play. Stop being stupid. Well, because he knows Aaron Rodgers is coming. Okay, for that statement alone, just knows that I shouldn't be having him any higher than this because it's almost like he's given up on the yeah. team. If you're starting yeah. quarterback, you're captain, your best player for the past five years is, he's running for his life. is talking about other teams over. Okay, which means Pete Carroll might be gone. Pete Carroll could be going to USC. He's old. Who he, took that job? Somebody took that job. He comes to Pittsburgh? He comes to Pittsburgh? Russ? Pete? Pete, Pete, Car- Pete and Russ? Why, why would Pete Carroll come to Pittsburgh? Yeah, we don't want him. Because Russ comes. He's like 80 years old. Yeah, we got Mike uh, Tomlin. Is we got Mike Tomlin. Yeah, but is Tomlin going to stick around after Ben goes? once in a while. Yeah. Hey, bro. Dude, Tomlin's going to be on the team for another like 20 years, dude. Mm. Tomlin will be here for like 10 more years. Mm. Okay? Mm. All right. Mm. So, yeah. So, obviously, they tried Taysom Hill out. Turnover machine. I want to yeah. give, give the Cowboys a little bit of credit. And we also got to remember, he was playing with a splint on his right throwing finger. Ew. A what? Right throwing finger. So that wasn't easy. And I don't want to blame it completely on Taysom Hill. I feel like people are really throwing him under the bus whenever they should it. And I'd actually, I I don't know who they're starting this upcoming week, but I want to see him play again. They're playing. They're starting him again? But they're playing the Jets, so they better win. I want to see. I want Taysom to get another shot. Mm-hmm. I believe that their best chance to win without having Jameis Winston is Taysom Hill. All right, that's a fair statement. The Raiders they actually lost. move up, but they lost. Okay, yeah. so they lost to a pretty hot Washington football team by two points. What? The only reason why they moved up one is just because closer game than what the Saints were. Don't get me wrong, the Raiders are still a mess, but at least they have a quarter like their their guy at quarterback. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Can't really Those two are interchangeable. And technically, I mean technically I mean the Raiders are definitely still in the hunt for the playoffs. I don't the see AFC. them making it. I see I honestly almost see I them don't coming see them in making last it either. in the division. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see them making it either, but they've kind of fallen up like this has just been a destiny to not happen this year for them. Like right. everything has yeah. fallen apart for so them. The, so the real question is, um I forget who subbed in at head coach for the Raiders after Gruden left. If they keep losing games are they gonna find a new head coach? Yeah. Man, they're probably gonna wait till the end of this. They'll season probably wait till Ruggs comes back. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna be waiting for about <laughs> ten minutes. <years. laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so the biggest dump off here is Vikings. the Minnesota Vikings. Why? Because they lost. I was, this Lions. is what I was thinking about. Okay, this is what, uh, so I originally had them above the Broncos and Browns. Yeah, which is which is only a minus four, which is still isn't great. You, 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 you need to have the Browns Ooh. after the Raiders. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, Joe Preach. I know the Vikings lost to the Lions. Look, who okay. haven't lost what to a bad let team? Let me ask okay? you this. Let me ask you this, though. The Minnesota Vikings. I We keep saying, oh, they have all these pieces to their team. Their offense has all these weapons. I'm aware of the situation. And, okay, and now we say, and now I, I, I remember, like, we keep bringing it up that the Vikings are just an inconsistent team. Yep. But who have they beaten besides the Packers? I know. Who have they beaten? The Lions. Exactly. No, they're not beating anybody no, good. Right. And the Packers is a team that they have been, oh, you're what, right, they have dude. like an even record with the, yeah. with the still, Packers. If the Vikings played the Browns again today, I would still pick the Vikings. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The Browns are... I wouldn't. I'm not saying the Vikings are... They either, beat the but Chargers. Like, they're in a similar category. Vikings beat the Chargers. But let's be real for a second. See the Vikings are a bad team. With, r- with really good they, players. Yeah. They are a bad team, and they don't even have their good players anymore. Dude, Devin Cook, well, Devin Cook might be coming out. Thielen's bad. out this upcoming Thielen's week. out. Who, Kirk, I mean, Kirk Justin has been having a weird, thing, oddly good season. Yeah, Kirk's a good fantasy quarterback. Other than that, he's... But, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. The Browns, I just feel like, should be lower. What? 
Browns then suck, bro. The Browns suck. Do you want to put them lower than the Vikings? You yeah, just I lost to an 0-10 and one Lions team. I don't I know. I mean, the I Steelers f- tied with them, and you have them at 16. So I feel like but I did have them down. You're not giving the Broncos any credit. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the Broncos are as good as the Browns. I know this Aww. is this is the one thing that you guys are going to say the Broncos are better than the Browns. Yeah, I'm not going that. The Broncos uh, aren't uh, better than the Browns. Really? really? I don't know. Actually. I don't know because the Browns, dude. The, Bra- dude, the That's Browns. That's what I'm are, saying. The Browns. But it's not. Suck. The, I have the Browns ranked at 19 here. It's not like I have them ranked in the top 15. Even they're I, not even yeah, a top half team here. No, right. I, it's not that. It's that. I feel like the Broncos are definitely a better team because the Browns suck, and the Bro- you can't say that about the Broncos. You can't be like the Broncos suck because they've been the doing Browns all right. Suck. They're not like clicking anymore. Like they're they just, have the pieces, but they're just falling apart. You know, like that bowl of water you have for your dog. Okay, that's what they are. The Browns, the sloppy, slimy bowl. I feel like you guys are giving the Broncos nah. a little bit too much credit here. Nah. Like I feel like you're hyping them up a little bit too much. They're really not. The Browns that almost great. lost the Lions, thirteen ten. Okay, do you want to go and look at the Broncos' close games that they've had and sure. that they've lost to? Sure, can, and it's going to be better than the Browns. I just feel like there's different categories here, okay? And the Browns, the Broncos, the Vikings, the Eagles are kind of in one category. When was the last time the Browns won a game? That's what I'm saying. Well, they had a bye week, so they couldn't win last week. They, but they lost to the bye week. Okay, well... Sure. When was the last time they won? The Broncos game? beat the Chargers. Um, they play the Lions this week. They play. They While beat, you're doing that, I'll they beat the Cowboys. <laughs> they beat Washington. They lost the Browns. They beat. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, but that was. You want to slide past that real fast? That was also week seven. Oh, now that it's now it's playing in. Huh. Look, the Browns beat the Broncos <laughs> and Vikings, but at this time, I still All right, so Broncos. I don't know. I'm. It, I don't know. Well, well, this season, the Browns have lost to the ch- uh, to the Chiefs, beat the Texans, uh, beat the Bears, beat the Vikings, lost to the Chargers, lost to the Cardinals, beat the Broncos, lost to the Steelers, beat the Bengals, lost to the Patriots, beat the Lions, and then lost to the Ravens. So, I mean, honestly, that's, that's a okay, tough so schedule. On a losing that's a very tough schedule. I thought they lost like three straight or something. I'm, per- I'm not. personally okay with this. They're so injury prone, and they lost OBJ. Yeah, OBJ was garbage. They that, lost that's OBJ. better for him. Yeah. Come on, I thought now. they lost a lot more in a row. Than and honestly, they, yeah, they have the Ravens, the Raiders, Packers, Steelers, Bengals. So their schedules. They have one of the easier. toughest schedules in the whole league. But Baker blows. He's not. He hasn't been playing great by he's, any he's means. Been banged up like crazy. Right. He he's playing that's with an injury and that Nick Chubb gets injured and their backup gets injured. It's like bro. And yet it they're out. still they're still in the playoff race with all that. Mm, I mean, they, they technically are. are. I don't have a making the playoffs. Personally, but, uh, let me look at their schedule real quick. I kind of like the Browns more than the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, so... Eagles have lost to the Steelers, lost to the Patriots. What? Lost to the Steelers? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, this movie... Yeah, I say we didn't play them. That's <laughs> yeah, my bad. They w- beat the Falcons. They lost to the 49ers. They lost to the Cowboys, lost to the Chiefs. Beat the Panthers, lost to the Bucks, lost to the Raiders, beat the Lions, lost to the Chargers, beat the Broncos, beat the Saints, lost to the Giants, beat the Jets, and they haven't really played any of their division. So they really games. haven't won any big games. No, from what I, so I don't, I'm not high on the it. Eagles to be honest. I'm not high on the Eagles as much either. And I mean, 17. I had them up at 17. I'm kind of embarrassed that I yeah. had them that high. You should be. So, but Minshew. I yeah, I kind of am. So, yeah, so they played and they won. Now, they had a really close first half. Yeah. I, I believe it was a fir- at least first quarter where they were trading back and forth. And then they ended up pulling away and winning pretty significantly. But the Eagles, I, oh, man, there's a f- I feel like, if anything, they're going to drop off a little bit more. But yeah. they're kind of in this category. And then above them, I had to give the Washington football team the credit that they deserved. Yeah. One of the biggest bumps, if not the biggest bump of the entire week football team. Yeah. Well, nice victory. Negative bumps? No, just positive. Okay. Positive bumps. Hey, that is one of the greatest things you have ever done. Really? Thank you. Finally, give a team the recognition they deserve. I mean, they're on what a five game. You act like I never do that. Ever. Oh, you don't ever do that. But you, you act like I either, never do that. You're ever. either jumping them or you're low on them. I, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, they have an interesting schedule though. That's what I'm yeah. saying, and they keep pushing. I mean, they play the Cowboys twice. They don't even have a team name. They play the Eagles again, right? They play them twice. It's all divisional games. It's all divisional games for them. (laughs) Hey, if you're a Washington fan, 
good for you. I'm 90% sure that's how it is for that entire division. I'd be pissed if that was my schedule, though. Because yeah. the Eagles, they only play divisional games, too. Yeah. No, I th- I think it's just Washington. It's a lot. It's a. I thought it was a lot. The of Eagles, games. I think, play at least one non-divisional game. I think oh, Washington's right. the only one that plays all. But the the whole division, yeah, they're pretty much playing each other four out of the final like five games at least. Now I got a question for you. You yeah. have the Steelers going up too, but I don't remember them being at eighteen. They Where were they at eighteen? They were oh, at yeah. eighteen next oh, to the yeah. Browns. My oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, I mean that's when they got smacked by the Bengals. Uh, uh, the, the Eagles have true, a bye true. week this week. Then they play Washington Giants, Washington and Cowboys. So it's oh, all yeah. divisional. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Man, that whole division. Just so gonna get yeah, I re- I really <clears throat> like that win that the Washington football team had versus the Raiders. It was only seventeen fifteen. It was a tight game. I expected that to be close. I feel like everybody thought that was kind of yeah. a toss up between yeah, those two teams. Awesome. So to pull yeah. one out. Like they did, and continuing the streak that they're on is is really good to see for yeah. them. And then we have the Steelers at 16, who beat the Ravens. Yes, sir. They easily could have lost to the Ravens. I mean, in the first half, Easily. I feel like they got outplayed. Yep. Mm-hmm. A lot of that had to do statistically to the 99-yard drive that the Ravens mm-hmm. had. Yep. And then, but I mean, I'm, I'm just glad to see that it kind of exposed the Ravens for the frauds that they are. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, come on now. Everybody was riding the Ravens coattails for the longest time. And finally, they're understanding that it's been coming down to the fourth quarter, the final drive every single week. Yeah, it was kind of sad that it took the Steelers to help people realize that, though. Like, you know what I mean? Right. But the thing is, they've been winning those games. That's yeah, why. that's true. They've been winning those games. Uh, yeah, yeah. And if it's a, I don't know. Well, if they would have won, if they would have won, people wouldn't be saying anything about yeah, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, no, now no. everybody's on because they lost. And quite frankly, if it wasn't for TJ Watt having a crazy good play on that two point conversion, they win easy pass. They won if you didn't play that game. Yeah. 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 Which he, which he won yep. was on the verge of not and playing. And Ben, that game. I give Ben credit, but like. Yeah. You got it. I mean, TJ Watt stopped that offense. I Look, mean, I I don't know. I don't even think right now this is an argument. TJ Watt for defensive player of the year, yes sir, is by far and away the easy pick. Don't People want to say Trayvon again. Diggs. Trayvon Diggs isn't going to win it no. with all the passing yards that he's given up. TJ Watt has two less games played, and he's beaten them in every category. Yeah, I, I the Steelers need Joe Hayden to come back yeah. like very bad. We versed a team that didn't have a great wide receiver, so we kind of matched up fairly well. So the Dolphins, do it again. This is surprising to me. They, you think they should be where? And, uh, I, I, c- I look at it and I think they should be lower, but how can I have them lower? I mean, they're out of the playoffs right now. Right. Right it's right going to yeah. take a lot. I mean, they're going to have to get help to make it in. Uh, the defense looks like one of the best. I mean, they didn't, they, they didn't put up a ton of points, did they? I can't remember. Yeah, they didn't put up a ton of points. I but so. I don't know. Tua seems more comfortable. Yeah. They're getting it done. It's just, just there seems like a lot of balance. They're they're relying on the defense a little bit. They need a running back. They do need yeah. a running back. Yeah. Gaskin really isn't the answer. Having they're, a really good running back would help. I feel like I feel like I would switch the Dolphins and Steelers just because like you yeah. said, they're not in the playoffs quite yet. Neither yeah. is Washington. And the Steelers are. They're not I, Steelers I, aren't, I don't think. No, they're the eight seed. So oh, they're the eight seed. Yeah. I actually did think of that. And the reason why I didn't do it was kind of based on last week because the Steelers had a, like one of their worst losses that we've seen last week. Yeah. And then they get a nice close win, but the Dolphins have been winning consistently yeah. for a while now. That's why I didn't bump the Steelers over the Dolphins, even though if, I, if they played, actually, if they played, I don't know. Uh, oh, I, man. How would that game go? I don't TJ Watt would that would be such a low-scoring game, dude. dude. There'd be like 20 total points scored in that game. I don't Those know. are the vibes I'm getting. I would pick the Steelers in that. I would, too. Deontay Johnson's really good, even if he goes up against a good cornerback because of he's, his shiftiness. I feel like he'd be able to get open against Xavier and Ryan really Jones. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. Dolphins still looking good. I mean, they're a team that's definitely like out, but they're still in the top half in the power rankings. Kind of stinks they couldn't have pulled a couple more wins out earlier in the season. So the Titans are going to go down one spot. The reason why they are is because I had to bump a team up. I had to, and it feels weird, and we'll get to the Chargers in in a few. This was the one that kind of put me in a weird spot with the Chargers. But we're going to see what the Titans do. I think the receiver is going to come back for this upcoming game. But, yeah, I have the Titans at the lowest spot that I – You think that the Ravens are better than the Titans? Really? 
Ravens better than the Titans. I think right now you got to put them there. The Ravens oh, man. better that's than the Titans. That's a good Titans. question. I'm actually kind of glad I you don't. brought that up. I'm kind of glad you brought I that up. I think the Titans are better than the Ravens. I was going to say, my guy. In my you know what? I'll give you that one. Because you got to remember, too, about the Ravens it. have zero secondary now. Also. Zero. Yeah. Nothing. They're going to end up putting freaking Hollywood Brown at corners. The Titans are in a little <laughs> bit of a losing streak. I, you know, I'll give you that. You know, I know, but the they more haven't that I had think any of the it. receivers or Henry. I mean, they're getting some of them back. I just and they're still doing even something. without them, dude. The Ravens. I just ah, I, don't know. I, I yeah. think you guys are too quick to throw the Ravens as far down as you can. I mean, I don't think they're a great team by any means. But I wouldn't put them lost. any lower than the fifth, fifteen. I would only put the Titans above them. That's the only thing I would like do. I said, they That's only lost to the Steelers. Yeah. Now, what was their last loss? The Dolphins. So I mean, it's not like they've been like. I don't know. The Titans yeah, but they almost opinion. lost to the Bears. I mean, it's just like... Yeah, but there's a lot of teams that do that. No, but they've been doing it consistently, though. So they almost lost they to the They almost lost to the Lions. Oh, yeah, they've almost lost so many games. Like, So it, it's really weird to have like a 13 and 14 that's over a 90% chance to make the playoffs, like as low as I have them. Yeah. Their record, their overall records are both good. And I, I don't look ahead, but the Titans' schedule is so much easier than the Ravens. No, you're right. That's why I said I think you should wait, see what happens this upcoming week, and then go from there. Because again, you just said it. If it wasn't for T.J. Watt, the Ravens would have beat the Steelers. Yeah, they would have beat the Steelers. So I mean, like I said, and right. then where, where would they be? But so they if the Ravens like beat the Steelers, they'd probably be at ten or eleven. Yeah, they'd probably be at ten or eleven. So I think obviously it could get oh, there. No. And I and I just be convinced because of all these other teams put them ahead the of Bengals the lost, the 49ers lost. That's the other thing. The 49ers, Are they better than the Chargers? The 49ers, you think the 49ers are better than the Titans also? I would even I argue do. that. Yeah, I yeah that I do. Yeah, right. That now, I do. I Oh, they lost to the seat. Yeah, that's what I know, but I but but let's be real for It was a, a close second. game. And who's their starting quarterback? And they figure it out for finally the 49ers? Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo. Hmm? Or is it Trey Lance? It's Jimmy Garoppolo. Trey Lance hasn't even been a question in the past. No. Who even knows how many weeks? Yeah. I feel like it's always up there. Jimmy's been playing decent, too. So, but they're in, uh, they, of course, they had a bad loss. But it was a loss that I'm not surprised about. That's why yeah, I only bumped them down by if, one. If you're not surprised about it, then why are they so Who, high? The Seahawks 49ers? Yeah. yeah. It's a close game. I mean, I picked the Seahawks to win that game. I'm not really surprised. What? 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 So if the 49ers... You have, to, you have to realize, whenever two divisional teams play each other, you have to throw a lot of stuff out the window. I mean, yeah. these teams play each other at minimum twice a year. If they meet each other in the playoffs three times a year, they know everybody's organization inside and out. It's, yeah. it's a completely why, different why ball like game. I don't too much tonight. It's, it's a completely Vikings. different yeah, ball game. Yeah, they had game. your game against the Ravens. Man. Right, so a game like that can beat a team up and they can throw everything in into the pot and then come back soft next week, especially on a short week. Yeah. So that's that's a really valid point. I would not be shocked at all if the Steelers <laughs> lost. Wait. And if somebody picked the Steelers to lose, I mean, the Vikings are a favorite. The Vikings are a favorite. I, I, the last time I checked, they were a three-point favorite. Mm -hmm. The 49ers play the Bengals this week. The 49ers, this is the, this is the biggest game of the upcoming week here. Yeah. Both of these teams, I mean, the... Both of these teams seem like they're... Who needs to win more? Because 49ers. the 49ers... The 49ers have way higher odds uh, you know to what? make it into the playoffs already. It's, I say the Bengals because it's a tighter race. Because you have the Steelers they, they, breathing down their yeah. neck. And Col especially you got the Colts. Everybody yeah. With the Ravens down. losing last week as well. So it's kind of like that kind of opens up the number yeah, one. Yeah, you know what? I'd bit. say this is... Even, yeah, with both both of these teams losing last week too, this yeah. is going to be... And the Bengals schedule going forward. This, this could decide whether or not one of these teams make or miss the playoffs yeah, with this good, game good. right here. That's how important that this game is yeah. for both of them. This is a playoff game for the 49ers and That's Bengals. That's what I say about the Steelers, dude. Every game is a playoff game, in my opinion. Forty yeah, Niners I mean, are seems that are close. It is. Forty Niners really? are six and six, and the Bengals are seven and five. Yeah, but you we got to realize. The, so the Forty Niners are fighting in the NFC. Isn't like right. The so the Forty Niners are fighting with the Eagles, yeah. Washington, Washington, who's already in kind of. I mean, that's like it. I mean, yeah, the same. Like the NFC you know South, what I'm saying? pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but it does matter a little bit more for the Bengals. So I reluctantly put the Chargers at number ten, and I originally had the Bengals higher. And then I said, "How can I have the Bengals higher than the Chargers with how the Chargers played against the Bengals?" Uh, that's a good. That's a good point to bring up. Dude, the Chargers almost blew that game heavy. They almost did, but then the first they pulled half, out. They were fumbling everywhere. They yeah. gave up. They were up what? They were up like thirty some points, right? 
It was, might they were 24, up, and then they ended up coming back like in four It was like 24 unanswered points by Cincinnati, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They uh, did. They 13 did. 13 plus it, 9. <coughs> huh? That, what? 13 plus 9. Okay. Well, that's that's how many unanswered points. 32. Nope. No. 22. 22. 22. 22. But yeah. still, you can't yeah, I thought you said 19. You can't bad. do that, though. Like, But then they still doubled them up at the end. They won, like, what, 44 to 21 yeah. or something 22. like that? I don't, I, I, like, I don't feel great about having the Chargers in my top 10. Like, this is a team right here that's inconsistent. You know what's crazy? I still like the Bengals that one, man. I do the Chargers. Yeah, I do, I too. Said, and I, I did, too. But then I... Again, that's what teams do. Like I said, they have a hot win, and then the next week, they just lose. Uh, like, it was just so hard for me with watching both of these teams play each other just last week and how close that I kind of have them to not put the Chargers over the Bengals. What's your problem over there? What? All right, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I don't... We'll get to it. No, I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about. Uh, where I would you guys have I, the Chargers? No, no, no. At? I'm not. I'm not talking about the Chargers. I just think I'm gonna say right now. I think you're undershooting the Titans once again. All right, fair play. I think they're way, 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 way too low. Way too low. Them? About four spots. <laughs> Oh. Above Ravens, above Niners, above yeah. Bengals. Yeah, I put them above the Ravens. That's the only thing I would do right now. I would, I put them above the Chargers. Let me tell you something, TJ. They'll be up a little bit once they start beating these bad teams because they w- they should. They should. They should. So oh, they're gonna get dude. bumped up. I just think that's. that's all right. I just had to say that for my. my the Titans are there. a team. I don't know. I don't even want to. I'm not even gonna speculate. But okay. So we have at number nine the Buffalo Bills who lost. Lost. To the Patriots. Patriots. Mm-hmm. So they dropped down three spots. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot for them. Yeah, they've been on quite the losing. Well, not I don't know if you say losing streak, but they've been losing more games right. than not they should at have. All. So the only team I could think of that would have bumped them, like if the Bengals would have won, the Bengals would have been above the Bills. But yeah. I feel like they, well, they didn't obviously. So the they Bills were. at the number nine spot. It was a close game again. I know they got ran. It's going to be memed forever. They got freaking ran on. All right. I don't really want to get into that either. I don't think <laughs> it was as bad as everybody made it seem to be, but it still wasn't great. It still wasn't great. So the Buffalo Bills, kind of one-dimensional. Yeah. 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 Relying on the defense a lot. Yeah. Josh Allen has a lot on his plate right now. He has to carry. He can't eat that much. And you don't, really like, you don't really want that to have to happen if not necessary. So Dallas Cowboys. They beat the Saints on Thursday night football. Mm -hmm. They had some pretty explosive plays. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily back on track by any means, but, I mean, they're locked back in. They're locked into a playoff spot, more or less. It would be almost impossible for them to miss. I mean, you'd have to have the Eagles jump them. I know we have a lot of divisional games in the NFC I'm not counting them out of winning that division man i don't you know. don't i'm okay i would not i'm not going to say that i think washington can jump them yeah it's a little bit of a long shot it could happen though i wouldn't be overly surprised yeah. but they're almost locked in to make the playoffs yeah. and really as uh, like dallas cowboys they like at least your wild card game that you're probably going to be into try they have to secure home field advantage you don't want well, to go into some place in the, the cold imagine going that. into like washington in the cold and playing them. That's an upset waiting to happen yeah. right there. Is that even an upset though at that point? You know? I mean, it is. A little bit. I would, I don't know. If they win the division, well, that means they had to beat Washington. Like, it's not. That's true. So the Rams, they beat a bad Jacksonville team by a lot of points. This was the, a big win. Like, they had to win by a lot of points. Yeah. And they won by a lot of points. So doesn't really tell us anything. No, no not really. Mm. Does it? Re- does it say anything? It doesn't say anything to me. No. Well, no, they need to play. Well, 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 well. I want to see a halfway decent team that they play. Well, 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 well. So if they do so such an unimpressive victory, why did you bump them up to? Because you're saying like oh, there was a lot the because Jags, like the didn't. because the how the Bengals lost, the Bills lost. So those are the two teams that they bumped. We're talking two teams that lost. Do you have the Rams? I have the Rams better than the Cow. I have the Rams at, at number six in yours. But do you have them beating the Cowboys? That's a toss up. The, I mean, those two I teams do. are very I interchangeable. I, I would say. Do. Oh man, I'd say yeah. I mean, I guess I would have. Yeah, yeah. I, so I would. This week, Monday Night Football, they play the Cardinals. So I mean, the that's Rams a game do. right there. Yeah. Or is really going to solidify if they're if they're good or not? They already lost to the Cardinals. 
They, now, they need this win, obviously. If, if they, they d- win if they do lose to the Cardinals, are you going to bump them down? Depends I'm on the other teams. Expecting play, them to, why am I? Like the Cardinals beating the Rams twice in one season is not easy. Like I actually no. might pick the Rams to win that game. I so I could I want to say yeah. That didn't that answer go. the question. Would I bump them down if they lost to the Cardinals? Is it a close? If it's a close game, probably not. Maybe like a spot or so. It's just tough well, because if like they get blown out by the Cardinals, then that right there I think would tell me quite a bit. The other thing is, if it's a close game, are you going to bump them up? Because if they're having a close game with the Cardinals, I would consider but bumping I mean, them up. It depends how the other teams. Right. It that does. It does. But I'm just saying, hypothetically, everybody else stays the same. If it's like a really close competitive game versus the Cardinals, like a okay. Yeah, I mean. If they and they still lost, yeah, it would really depend on what some of these other teams do. Yeah, I would say that would kind of keep them in the same spot if it was like a really close right. game and they still lost. All right, that's enough, dude. There's like four really exciting games this upcoming week. I like it. So at number six, I have the Colts who also moved up to. We had three teams that were like back to back to back with the Colts, Rams, Cowboys all move up and bump the two teams that lost. The Cowboy are the Colts. Did we expect them to do one by thirty-one points to a bad team? So, again, why did you bump them up? Why did I bump them up? Yeah, they beat the because team. the Bills and the Bengals lost. The, the Bills Colts and the stomped on the yeah, Bills. and the Colts oh. stomped. Yeah, against the thirty-second team. Yeah, but they stomped on the Bills too. Okay, so I think that they're number eight then, maybe. So, so who's above them then? Rams, Cowboys, easily. Oh, but the Rams haven't beat anybody that great. What? I bet you they have. They okay. beat the box. <laughs> First At off, I wouldn't point. say I wouldn't say easily. If you want to do it because you're not as big of a Colts believer as I am, then sure, fine. By any means, go ahead and do it. Because right now the Colts are out of the playoffs right now. Yeah. And you have them at number six on your power ranking. Because power rankings isn't all about record all the time. It's not about record. It's about who are good teams. And they are a good teams. And you said they're a good team. You have them in your top ten. At ten. Not above the Bills, not above the Cowboys, not above the Rams. Why now, not above the Bills? I guess. I guess. You, yeah. Why not you above could, the Bills? I just. I think if they play again, Bills are beating them. And I. You can have the argument where they beat the Bills. So yeah. how can you just make that assumption? What do you mean make that assumption? That the Bills would just beat the Colts if they play again. Whenever the Colts That's already not beat an assumption. the Bills. That's my opinion. That's if they were to play again, I feel like the Bills would beat the Colts. How can you back that argument? Yeah, when they beat them like by fifty points. The Colts are a more complete team than the Bills are. They're not one-dimensional. Mm. Sure, they're a definitely a running team. They're, yeah, that, that's but they're a, no. they're a better passing team yes. than the than the Bills are a running team. They're a better passing. They're team better than the at Bills passing are. than the Bills are at running. Sure, but is the Colts defense better than the Bills defense? Yeah, they're like yeah, they're they right are. there in the yeah. same category. But yeah, I'd I say don't I don't see them beating. Both of those defenses are top five. Right. Okay. I get down with that, but I don't. I don't be, have them beating the Rams. I don't have them beating the Cowboys. So that's why I said I would put them at eight if I were to put them on your list. We got to remember the ca- the Rams are coming <laughs> off of what a three game losing streak. Not anymore. The Cowboys yeah. dumped off a couple games, two in a row. But I still don't think that matters. I think the Colts aren't going to beat them. So that's your opinion. It's a it's a fair opinion. I'm not going to really argue it too much. I just it definitely just, disagree. I've got them so high every week, and it's like they don't do anything that's like. Insane. They, do, they don't do anything to but back it up. But they won 31 to nothing. They, look what they did to yeah, the Bills. I, I, How does that not back anything up? They won 31 to nothing against yeah, the Packers. Against they shut the out any worst team in the He's NFL. Saying, yeah, but you keep ignoring They the made them Bills look thing. like the worst team because they weren't the worst team before that. Yeah. It was the Lions. You're just ignoring the whole Bills thing. Okay, He's I'm ignoring the, the whole Texas. Bills thing. I mean, the Bills lost to the Jags. But then the Buccaneers beat them. Okay, that was a close game, though. We were saying close games cannot bump you that much. They beat the Jags. They beat the Jets. And then they lost to the Titans. They haven't been beating insane. They, haven't, they don't beat good teams. The Bills are the only good team they've beaten. Look, it's an uphill battle for the Colts. I thoroughly understand that. There's a chance they can miss the playoffs with the schedule that they have. But if they miss the playoffs, they're going to be one of the best teams that I've ever seen that miss the playoffs. They play the Patriots this week. If they lose the Patriots, where are you putting them? We'll have week. to wait and see because that all the th- I mean it, like it depends how they lose. Oh I gotta my w- God. Please. How can you ju- how can I just say where they're going to be Please at? Please do not w- beat the Patriots. Oh my God cuz I know you're going to put them at number 2 if they beat the Patriots. Well, first of all, oh my God. They're, they're on no, a bye uh, First off, week. I'm probably not. Oh, you I guarantee Second off, that's not it. even this I guarantee week. You would. No, I wouldn't. Okay? And then 
And yeah, third off, would. I can't just rank a team that plays a team in like two weeks and tell you where I'll put them I'm if not, they lost I'm not, because I'm you have not to worried watch about the that. game. I'm just saying, you right now, first off, I think I personally think you have the Patriots too high. I know you're going to say if they could beat the Patriots, then they can beat the Bucks, Chiefs, and Packers. I mean, they can't. Listen, any of these teams oh. on this list can beat anybody. Oh, I mean, it's not, that is true. Is it really that crazy if the, if the Rams beat the Cardinals, not who really. are no. six spots separated? No. No, no because I think the Rams the are slated. better than the Colts, though. Yeah. Is it crazy if the Cowboys beat the Patriots? Not that crazy. I mean, I would pick the Patriots. Okay, is it crazy? I mean, they already played each other, and we see how that, close that, that game was. Say that same was. thing with the Colts team, then. Okay. Is the, it crazy if the Colts beat the Cardinals? Yes. Is it crazy if the Colts beat the Cardinals? No, it's not crazy. How is that is crazy? Is it crazy if the Colts beat the Cardinals? How is that That's crazy? That's not crazy. How is that not crazy? They're Damn, the, you're way too high on the Cardinals. Is it crazy if the 49ers Holy beat crap. the Cardinals? Yeah, wow. yeah, that would be insane. No, it wouldn't. I would drop my pants for that one. Yeah, that's insane. But they did beat them. <laughs> when? <laughs> Drop them no, right now. No, yeah, yeah, they did beat them. Yeah, <laughs> that was with a backup. Okay, yeah, but who won two and one? Who cares? Nah, that, I'm talking the Cardinals with. Oh, Kyler. you're an idiot. All right, <laughs> you're an idiot. You think the Colts could beat the Cardinals? Dude, yeah, all they I know can. Is you're all an idiot you for Colts not thinking fans, so. dude, you love whenever. Oh, they play. They play them after the Patriots. You think they're gonna beat the Patriots and the Cardinals? You think they have any shot to beat those guys? Of course. Do, do, do you why, think they will? Why are you gonna pick them? They don't have a shot. Yeah, they're not. That you said the same thing when they were there playing the Bills on the box. They beat the, they stomped on the Bills, and they had a close game against the box. Yeah, but they're not that good. Oh my God. You Here have them goes. in your top ten. How can you say that? That's yeah, so hypocritical. They're a te- they're a top ten. Yeah, he team, just loves saying they're, they're not, not good, six. but he never comes out with like good stats or anything. To back they haven't up. beaten any good teams beside the Bills. At number five, the Buccaneers. We can't talk about the Colts for a million minutes every single time. We oh, get the to Buccaneers this. are number five because they beat the Colts. So the Buccaneers. So we have three teams. And yeah. none of them lost, yeah. and they all actually went down a spot. <coughs> and we'll get to the Patriots in a little bit, but the Patriots showed me a lot in that game versus the Bills. Uh, the Buccaneers, pretty much a game I expected. I still question why they threw the ball so much that game, at least in the first quarter yeah. and whatnot. It didn't really make too much sense. But, and, I, dude, I, Antonio Brown's done with the Bucs. Yeah, Does anybody else like think that? No. You don't, I don't think he's done? Tom Brady loves him too much. I think he'll find a way to stay there. Yeah. Like come back for playoffs? Yeah. I think it's all going to blow into the that would really, That would really do a lot for them. This is another, they need them, but. This is another good game this week. They play the Bills. Bucks Bills. Bucks Bills. Really? They play each other? Sunday, December 12th. Wow. That's a banger right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good games. So I know one that you guys would probably disagree with me a little bit, maybe, but I, I feel a little bit more strongly about the Chiefs than I do the Buccaneers. They didn't have a great mm. offensive performance, and they really haven't been doing that. But yeah, their both, defense did amazing, yeah. though. Yeah, they're kind of they're clicking. <coughs> Divisional win right versus there, the Broncos. Right? They really shut the Broncos down pretty good. Yeah, but you have the Broncos. I don't feel like the Broncos are an impressive team to beat. I mean, they're they're winning games. That's right. I mean, I mean, that division's so close, and they're they're right, they're in the mix. Yeah, uh, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but they're who? definitely in the mix. The Broncos? Yeah. They're in are the you mix. saying that? Are you, are you saying it was an impressive victory for the Chiefs to beat them, or not really? I'm not going to. Well, I mean, I expected them to win. I was impressed with their defense, a little underwhelmed from their offense. But they shut the Broncos down really well. The Chiefs' defense is definitely the w- reason they're winning games. Yeah, I mean, they had a defensive touchdown that game, too. So you got to like keep in mind that the offense really didn't do too much at all. Yeah. yeah but uh, And that's with you saying that, I don't. I feel like I can't say the same about the Buccaneers. I can't say the Buccaneers' defense is the reason they won that game. I feel like it's... But there, is there anything wrong with their de- if your de- defense wins you a game? All the Steelers it's, are doing. It's if you have to rely on your offense, then you're screwed. Right, and the Chiefs didn't have to. So you're saying you like the Chiefs better than the Bucks, or no? I'm saying I like the Bucks better than the Chiefs. Bucks and Chiefs play. I have that the Bucks winning, and I feel like if the Chiefs need to rely Bucks on Patrick Mahomes, then, then they're not going to be able to pull it out. You can have the Bucks above the Chiefs. I I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah. 
The Chiefs are just the Chiefs are on like a really nice win streak, and I think yeah. they deserve to be above the Buccaneers personally. They're How do you guys feel? Do you they're like the Bucs better? They're interchangeable. Uh, I like me. the Bucs better than the Chiefs. Yeah, they they are kind of interchangeable. Uh, so you have Bucs better. You have Bucs better. Oh yeah. I kind of see them both as the same yeah. team where I'm just like, okay, they could potentially right now, be just like slacking. So that way they have all healthy players for the playoffs and they could be completely different teams in the playoffs. Yeah. I don't know. It's I kind of believe close. in Tom Brady more than Mahomes at the moment. That's kind of what it comes <laughs> down to. Yeah, uh, you could Mahomes say that. Mahomes is There's not no doubt about having a season. He is not having a season. Like Tom Brady's an MVP Like candidate. what do you mean not having a season? Like not an MVP candidate? Because last, he's still like... Last year we heard about him weekly. We do not hear about him as much this time. Yeah, we're we're hearing about him, but we're not hearing great things about him. You know, like oh, has he lost it? But I feel like he's he's still a top five he's quarterback this year. Mm, I don't know if I maybe five, but it's just mm, I don't know the mm, mm, the Chiefs' offense. Mm. That, that's gonna be tough to be a Chiefs fan. It's like you expect to come in there and like just wreck, and then it's like you're just kind of you're winning, but you're just kind of. Yeah, I'm Winning. a Chiefs fan. I'm chilling. I'm gonna say this: beginning of the season, I'm pretty shocked that both of the two Super Bowl teams are still in the top five at this point yeah. in the season for me. Really, I'm I'm there. very surprised. I wow. expected both of them to be out of the top wow. five in the regular season. So the Packers they drop a spot because the Patriots mm. need that credit. <sighs> they need that credit. It's oh. too much credit. It's too much credit. Why is it too much credit? Because that's they're not. You yourself than the said you have questions about the Packers. Yeah, of course, in the playoffs. In the playoffs. I tell you what, I don't have any questions about the Patriots. The Patriots' defense to me is possibly the best defense in the NFL right now. Oh, my gosh. They can run the ball. They have a good scheme. They throw the ball short. They don't get turnovers. What much more can you ask in a team than what the Patriots are doing right now? Not to mention they're on the biggest win streak. But are the Packers also not doing that? And have they not been doing it the whole season? With and without injuries, compared to the Patriots. Don't you think what the Patriots are doing right now is more impressive than what the Packers are doing? It is because I think it's unexpected from the Patriots. The Patriots, what I see is a full team that just doesn't rely on anybody. (coughs) Anybody. Solid. All around. Who do they rely on? They relied on their run game against the Bills pretty heavily. That was a game where they had to. That's 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 weather conditions. Yeah, that was one they had to, but they... Did. I don't know if I would have him at two, though. I would probably what happens if the... I mean, I don't want to say that, because that would ruin any team if your starting quarterback was gone. What? I was going to say, what happens if Nothing. Aaron Rodgers goes out? The Packers are an absolute mess. Yeah, but that's yeah, anybody. It, right, that's why yeah. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Logan told me. Logan told me to say it, so I said it. I like the Patriots I all around. I, There's I nothing like that the I, Patriots too. I, I think I'd have the Patriots at three. I think I'd still have the Packers. At There's three. nothing that I don't like about the Patriots. But is there anything you don't like about the Packers? Not necessarily. Uh, it's just Mac Jones is. I like the Patriots the defense more for sure. Patriots defense more than the Packers defense. Okay. What about their offense? And then the, they're two completely different offenses, yeah. so it's a little bit hard to compare them. Obviously, you take Aaron oh, Rodgers man. over Mac Jones. It's so hard to have to me to have the Packers play the Patriots, though. You like think that. the Packers and but Patriots how play? How many games in a row have the Patriots won? I know, lot, I know. Or, but and I thought all of you said it yourselves Packers. on how impressive what the what the Patriots did with their run game versus the Bills versus yeah, the top yeah, defense. No, I'm not saying it's not impressive. It's saying I'm saying if the Patriots and Packers play tomorrow, I don't think they're beating the Packers. I do. Like it yeah, they're on a hot streak. It's, it could be a close game, but of course it'll I think be a close the Patriots game, are a team that once you, they get figured out, it's game over for them. They're the hardest team to figure out. Oh, There's I know, no I know. Team that's more difficult to figure out. I'm not saying that they're easy to figure out. I'm saying you get that one little thing. You stop. You stop right. one of their that's little why things. That's Belichick's so great. If they get figured out the next week, he'll have something completely different. Yeah. Completely yeah, but that different. One game, he won't allow teams. That to do one game can matter though. They're on a seven game win streak. Seven games. Yep. What about the Packers? Seven They're games. on a three game. They lost to the Chiefs. Otherwise, but that was with Jordan Love. Yeah, they would otherwise be on the. They would think also a seven. So I just can't. I don't know. I like the Patriots. More. I do too. And again, like I'm not Patriots saying it's not close. It, it's it's very close between the two. But just how the Patriots have been playing and oh, you're, yeah, and you're what they what they've been showing me, and I was the biggest skeptic out of anybody for the Patriots. Yeah, everybody was. 
You think fair? Uh, you think Bucks and Patriots play? The Patriots are beating them. Yeah, yeah, but absolutely. They, they already lost to them in a really close game. Bad weather, missed field goal at the end. Actually lost in yeah. the game. Yeah. I mean, again, any of these teams can beat anybody, especially the the top eight. You could throw the Cowboys in there, I guess. I think and they all can beat each other, and I wouldn't be slightly mm-hmm. surprised for a second. Not for a second. All right, at number one, they, three I, weeks in a row. What? If the Packers didn't lose against the Chiefs with Jordan Love, they would be on a, an 11-game win streak. Okay, yeah. I mean, the Packers are, Packers are a hot team right now, too. I think they've just been doing it longer, and I feel like, dang, dude, to throw them under the Patriots, ah, oh. I can't. I couldn't do it. It's an ele- Think There's about something it as a- in the back of my head, and I can't like really key on, in on what it is about the Packers. That's like making me question a little bit. But the thing is, the Patriots, I don't question. They've been doing question. it without what Aaron Jones. They didn't have Devontae Adams for a week. Or yeah, but all these teams have had people have injured. the Patriots. Yeah, I mean they played the whole second half without Damian Harris, and they had their backup coming and freaking. Oh, he's nice and handle the job. He's nice though. Who's nice? Stevenson. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, nice. I think that shows to the depth that the Patriots have. If you think Sure, nice. but I just think to say, like, oh, they've been on a, what, seven-game win streak versus an 11-game win streak. But it's not an 11-game win streak. It's not an 11-game win streak. So how but how you say that? But they, it would be if they didn't have how do you know? that one game. How do you know? That's what you always say it's to me. Crazy. How would you yeah, know? Yeah, you can't do that. You can't assume that. I still they would have beat the, the Chiefs with the Leonard Rodgers. How would you know? They w- th- Did you watch the game? I watched the game. Okay. You how, know, do you know that, you how do you know, know Patrick Mahomes wouldn't have stepped up against I, Aaron Rodgers? He, he, probably didn't, he, didn't step a lot up, more. he didn't step up against Jordan Love. He didn't respect That's him. completely <laughs> different. If you don't respect one guy, then you don't respect the other. You can't just say that. You can't just say that. I'm just saying I'm not, the like, Packers, I'm not dogging on the Packers. I don't want to dog on the Packers. Are. Why? Because they move moved them down one spot for the hottest team in the NFL. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd say. I mean, they are the hottest team in the NFL Look, the right now. Both of them, why don't you have them number one? Yeah. Because the Cardinals are by far and away the num- number one. But what if the Packers are number I don't two? Know, the way you're talking about the Patriots, to me, it doesn't seem that way. Because I have to talk good about them so you guys can understand why I like them more than the Packers. Even so though it's very, very close. So you're trying to convince us is what you're saying. No, I have to try to back myself like up instead Cardinals, of just saying, But the Cardinals nice have though. had like, questionable games, too, this year. Like the, I mean, like I don't see... Okay, Cardinals are the number one team, but I think... I don't think as high of them though as everybody else does. They're not like what, the Cardinals. Yes, I do think they're the number one team right now, but it's not like Cardinals and then everybody else. After the the, like Cardinals the fact that you don't even consider no, 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 putting no, no, the no, Patriots no, no, at number no, no. one, no, like you just on. think Cardinals are just that much better? I don't. I disagree with that. The pa- the Packers and the Patriots have closed the gap significantly. The Cardinals were the team for me the past two weeks before this last week was played. That was by far, in a way, the number one. Now the Patriots and Packers put that in question, and I would definitely be open. You said, you said now the Packers do that after a bye week. The Packers and Patriots have a chance to go past the Cardinals. But you said now they do. I think now the Patriots do. I think the Packers have always had a chance. That's why yeah, okay. I. That's why I feel like it's such a tough thing. Yeah, to but the you, had, you had the Cardinals. The Packers were at number one for. Uh, right, they beat the Cardinals. You had yeah. the. I said you had the Packers. Or you had the Packers at number two, and the Cardinals at number one for the past three weeks. Also. I know, and I. They're very close each week. It's very, very close. Yeah. See, the first, the past couple weeks, it really wasn't that close to me. But you're saying now it is close after the page, Packers had a bye week. Sure. I think. I think what you're meaning to say is now it's close for the Patriots, but the Packers were always there. But you bumped them down for some weird reason. All right, so the Packers really aren't in contention for number one. Does that make you better? Feel better? No, I think you're tripping. Okay, so now that we're past that. How are they not in contention for number one? They are in contention for number (laughs) one, Joe. They are. They are in contention for number one. So why are they number three? Because the Patriots have been playing better, and the Cardinals have been better. Are the Patriots in contention for number one? Yes. More than the Packers? Yes. That's wild. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Dude, I mean, you what are do you want me to the, say? You were in the it's, is it really desert. that wild? I mean, these teams are really close. It's just a little bit of a jump. 
got me a break. <laughs> number two. You're trolling, you're telling bro. Me number two for the Patriots. You're trolling right now. No, I'm not. You're telling me number two for the Patriots. Yes. How uh, can? What are you gonna say? They're on a seven-game win streak, DJ. Okay, against not the best teams in the world. Who are the Buffalo Bills? Who are the Buffalo Bills? Is it what is it? Jeopardy? What are you? Yeah. Okay. So what are you saying? <laughs> We're just going in circles at this. Point. Oh, you're talking about the Bills game they just played? Yeah, yeah. they beat them. Yeah. And you said it yourself. Wasn't an impressive victory. I did not say impress. I did not say that. You said I they ran the did ball not. 200 plus yards, but that's not impressive. I said it's not as the Patriots have beaten the Bills. They beat the Titans, the Falcons, the Browns, the Jaguars, the Chargers, and the Jets. That's okay. their seven games. There's nobody shoot. that great, but the Titans. The Chargers. I feel like. The Titans. Is Read that list off again. Jets, Chargers, Chargers. Panthers, Browns, Falcons, Titans, Bills. Titans, and then Bills, Chargers. Read, now let me not read Titans. the Packers. Let me read the Packers. Not Titans. The Titans are eight and four. Nah, not Titans. They manhandled the Titans. Let me. Let, bad. Let Derrick me, Henry wasn't bad. there. Thirty-six, thirteen. Oh, so now everybody's gonna get on the Titans are trash now after I was getting no, trashed on for having the okay. Titans down here. To be fair, I was with you on that. Hey, I don't well, think you were because you said that the Titans should be up higher whenever I was fighting for them and put them at like thirteen originally. Whenever well, yeah, Derrick Henry jumped first them up went out, thirteen spots. I was a bit aggressive. I thought that, but I didn't think that they were great. The Titans are eight and four. I mean, it, Rams it, getting manhandled like they did, I think, uh, is impressive. So, the yeah, so the Packers, which I think they should be number two right now, but I think it is very, very close. They built or they lost to the Saints in week number one. Beat the Lions, beat the 49ers, beat the Steelers, beat the Bengals, beat the Bears, beat the uh, football team, beat the Cardinals, which is a huge win. Lost to the Chiefs, beat the Seahawks, lost to the Vikings, and beat the Rams. So they were never on an 11-game win streak, even without the yeah. Chiefs' loss. Hmm. Yeah. They were on a 1, 2, oh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7-game win streak. I forgot about the Vikings' loss. I thought they beat the Vikings. All right. Well, they're, they're, uh, I should say enough right there. Yeah, they beat more impressive teams. <laughs> It's it's a jump. It's a jump. it's a jump. It's a jump. It's literally fourteen. You they, it's a jump. How I would have plus three. three like a massive jump. It's, it's not because really they're not better than the team they put them above. That's why it's a jump. You I put disagree. them above a team that they're I not disagree. better than than. If the Patriots and Packers played, the Patriots would win. No. They would win. They would win. It would they be very win. close. Would it be very close? Yeah, but would they win? Close. Not they guaranteed. Win. They would win. You put your left toe on the line. No. Why? I wouldn't put my left toe on Cardinals versus Texans. No, they get a tattoo, not cut it off. No, I thought was, that's stupid. I wouldn't do that for any matchup. Oh, any it sounds matchup. like you would. You're making me have to back them up more than I want to. Like, you're making me justify <laughs> it. Why and I'm not going to sit here and say, because they're nice, though. <laughs> I'm trying to actually put facts on the table and explain why I like these teams better. The facts are just opinions, and the opinions just feel mm, not there. How are the facts opinions? The Patriots statistically have one of, if not the best defenses in the NFL. Okay. Mac Jones, by far and away, the best rookie quarterback in the NFL and one of the most accurate out of any quarterback in the whole NFL out of all 32 teams. Bill Belichick, best coach in NFL history. No question. Come on now. Let's be real for a second. Who's better than Bill Belichick? You want to say Vince Lombardi from like 80 years ago? Go ahead. But you never watch him, coach. I don't even think it's close. Not for a second. Yeah, but that's... The Patriots signed a bunch of people that was looked past in free agency. You're saying, Not just their tight ends, but the people on the defense you're, also. You're saying this like the Packers aren't also doing that. The Packers also have one of the best defense. Aaron Rodgers is also one of the best quarterbacks. Uh, Matt LaFleur, is that yeah, the coach? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, Matt LaFleur. I can't, I can't say anything about Matt LaFleur, LaFleur, but... Don't even say that, because he's really nothing special. But you're saying that as if they're the only team doing that. The Packers You are wanted up. statistics and facts to back it up, so I gave it to you. Yeah, but you're, you're not bringing up the Packers stats. If you were to compare the Packers and the Patriots stats, I guarantee you they'd be very close. The, it, I, it, I'm, it, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. It's very close. <laughs> it is very but close. But now, now you just walked in it because you're saying the Packers are by far and away than the... Better than the Patriots, but now, then you just said it's very close between those two teams. The stats. So yeah. where do you stand? The Packers are better than the Patriots. Okay. Well, like I said, there, it's pointless to like argue this. It's not going to go anywhere. 
It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, the reason I think again that the Packers should be above the Patriots. I think it's very close. But the reason why it's more impressive for the Patriots is because they don't have those star players. The right. Packers have always had those star players, and they've done it in the past, where it's like, okay, this is normal for them. I, that's why it is very impressive on the Patriots. Again, I think they need to do a little bit more before they could jump the Packers, and the Packers need to kind of fall off a little bit for them to jump them. But that's like I feel like all it takes is the Patriots have one bad game, and p- everyone would be like, oh. Mm. They, they, they would they would jump way down on them if they had one bad game. Mm. I'm telling you. What do you mean way down? How far down? Like in what way? Like a hair way? Like yeah. your pa- I don't know. They wouldn't get out of the top ten. There's no way. I'm not talking like power rankings. I'm just thinking like, okay, is this the Patriots we expected? Is this the Mac Jones we expected? People would be in question. I, I, I feel like they do that with any team that has like a really bad loss. I mean, <sighs> we've we've done it. I mean, I kind of did it with the Cardinals whenever they lost a really bad game. Earlier, their first loss that they had, it was it wasn't a good loss. The Packers, whenever they first started the season, they lost really bad. They lost really bad, and everybody questioned. Yeah. So the Cardinals, I love the Cardinals. They got it going on. They have an amazing quarterback, amazing quarterback. I love Kyler Murray so much. They have added so many pieces to their team, and they're ready. To win now, like this is their year to win. Yeah. Before you lose, before you start losing pieces, because there's a lot of people where they're going to need to get paid. Superstar team. I mean, we're talking studs everywhere. Pro bowlers all over the place, offense and defense. Really young team. James Conner, who I didn't expect to really do much, is taking over. Yeah. Touchdown leader for all running backs, and I think it's by a long shot. What it seems like. The receiving core is amazing. Joe Mixon's probably up there. Joe Mixon. I actually didn't even know he was scoring a ton of touchdowns. Mm. Every week, man. Hmm. That's fair. But, yeah, I, I, I love the Cardinals. I really do. I don't expect them to win out. I don't expect – I mean, I have to look at the schedule of these teams. I don't expect the Patriots to win out, the Packers to win out. Like, they'll There's all have a – they'll probably all have another loss they before might, the season. They might lose this week. They play the Lions. <laughs> Who the Cardinals do? Yeah, well, uh, Lions, yeah see, that would be cool that'd be interesting. <laughs> I can see them winning out. All right, so I'm gonna end this here. I thought I was just gonna get away with it, but I should have known. I should have known whenever I got to the Colts and then the Patriots that uh, there would have been some talks going on. But hey, let me know how you think. I'm very interested to hear. At least give us your top ten, your top five. Put it down in the comments below. Really wouldn't mind seeing that. If you want to rank all 32, feel free to go ahead. That's a lot of time and effort, but yo. You could do it. You could do it. You could do, do it. If you do it, we'll freaking probably heart your comment or Just something. Just do it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we love you. We love you all so much. Until next week, drop a like, subscribe. You already know what to do. See you all on the next one. We out. <laughs>